Hello, I'm Avon, professional digital interviewer from Fios AI. Let's begin the interview. First question, please describe a core service architecture you have built or been responsible for. What business problem it addressed? Hey guys, in this video, I will show you the use case for the uh, Namitalk AI. I will show you how to integrate uh, the Namitalk AI to your own uh, application. So if you go to the uh, website, you will see uh, we have a use case. I have a whole bunch of the use case over here, but I have not yet implemented all of them. All of this is something in my mind right now. Uh, I, I'm plan to implement all of this, but right now I just implement the first one. The first one come from uh, uh, my friend Michael. So he talked about he want to have a recruitment uh, site. So for the first uh, interviews, they want to uh, interview the uh, candidates by the AI just for the first round, uh, ask uh, like a few questions. So here, this is a very nice, very good uh, example. So uh, you can go, you can click this one to see the uh, use case over here, or you could uh, go to the uh, source code. Here is the source code. I store the data to the uh, JSON file, but you could store this uh, uh, job list to your um, database. So basically, it stores the uh, job description, job title, and the uh, uh, requirements. Also, I prepared some uh, question. You could uh, prepare some question, uh, build in question. You could also like uh, uh, have the AI automatically generate uh, six questions for your uh, job based on your job description. But right now, uh, I don't want it out of control. So I prepare the uh, question over here, the interview question over here. Okay, so now let's take a look at the application. Uh, this is the job list. So for me, I'm a backend developer. So I say backend, click this one. Now I could uh, uh, take a look at the uh, description of the uh, job and uh, start the interview. So let's start the interview. Hello, I'm Avon, professional digital interviewer from Fios AI. Let's begin the interview. First question, please describe a core service architecture you have built or been responsible for. What business problem it addressed? Yeah, I designed the micro-service-based uh, uh, architecture using the API gateway. So I use the uh, .NET Core uh, 9.0 for the microservice uh, application. So that is how I manage the uh, uh, service architecture, yeah. Thank you for your response. Here comes the next question. When traffic spikes occur, how do you handle scaling, rate limiting, and graceful degradation? Uh, I use the uh, containerization, such as the Docker, to uh, deploy uh, uh, multiple uh, instances. I also use the node balancer, like the Nginx, uh, to do the to do this one and get more uh, high con uh, concurrency uh, support. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for your response. Third question: Could you provide an example of how you balance data consistency versus latency in system design? Uh, I don't familiar with that question. That one. Could you skip this question? I'm sorry but I need to follow the set order. If you're unsure, let's try a quick clarification. Could you attempt a brief explanation or share your general idea on that? Yeah, I have some general idea. I apply the normalized schema design with the indexed key field, something like that. Thank you for your response. Let us proceed to the next question. What monitoring, logging, or alerting practices help you quickly troubleshoot issues in production? Yeah, in order to the um, quick in troubleshooting, I implement the uh, centralized log, such as Grafana, so I could uh, find the error uh, quickly. Also, I implement the uh, email notification, so once I have something wrong, uh, I will get the email notification. Yeah. Thank you for your response. Next question. 
How do you collaborate with front-end or DevOps teams to ensure features are delivered as planned? Yeah, I worked uh, uh, closely uh, with the dev uh, team to design the CI and the CD, and set up the monitor and the alert, uh, alert uh, standard. So um, I try to review the log and uh, improve the reliability uh, and the efficiency. Yeah. Thank you for your response. That concludes all interview questions. Thank you for your time. The interview has ended. Okay, thank you. Bye. So once you hang up, you will say, okay, you will get your records over here. This button will be available. So you will say your uh, uh, conversation history. Uh, this one, uh, you can see in the front end, you also could get the uh, webhook. You could set up a webhook. So once the interview done, this thing could uh, uh, post to your webhook. You could, you could set up a web API to receive the uh, message. Uh, and also you can uh, check this in your backend. So um, like what the interview say, what you say, what the candidate say. Uh, I also will uh, implement the notification. So once the interview done, you will the owner of the website or the uh, the provider of the job will get the um, will get the uh, will get the uh, email notification. So that is my uh, next one. Uh, also, you could uh, I could send the uh, video log. So I could send a URL, which you can download the uh, video during the for for the um, whole uh, interview process. Yeah, that is the next one I need to do. But right now, it's just the uh, text uh, log. You will get the text conversation. So yeah, basically this is the uh, use case for the uh, recruitment uh, industry. Um, you could uh, uh, the AI could generate the question based on the description of the job automatically. You don't need to prepare the question, so, but you could also prepare your own question. Yeah, I think that is for uh, this use case. Uh, I also add uh, uh, more uh, avatar over here, so you can see we have a whole bunch of the uh, avatar. Next video, I will show you like uh, I will add a call button over here, so you could uh, uh, you could uh, uh, use the Navitalk AI directly with the, the WordPress website. Basically, it's just to show you how to integrate the or how to add the uh, digital human to the Word. Press website that will be very interesting. That for the uh, non developer, right now the use case, most use case, just for the developer. So if you you could check the uh, source code over here. If you guys have any idea about uh, uh, the use case, if you want to create some new use case, just let me know. I could take a look and see if I could uh, implement that. Um, also, we have our uh, Discord channel uh, launched uh, last week, so you guys could uh, join our this uh, Discord channel and give us some uh, suggestion. Uh, if you can uh, join our uh, Discord channel, you will get ten dollars uh, credit. And if you could uh, provide some idea about the use case, about the use case, and we finally. Uh, Take that uh, idea and implement that. You will get another twenty-five dollars credit. Yeah, this will uh, help us improve our uh, product. Okay, I think that pretty much all. Thank you for your time. Okay, bye.